In a move that underscores Turkey's rapid rise as a defense power, Ankara has successfully launched a new domestically developed missile system from one of its modern warships, marking a new milestone in the country's efforts to achieve full military self-sufficiency and advanced maritime deterrence. The Gezgin program has been one of the most closely guarded projects in the Turkish defense industry. Originally inspired by the need to develop a domestically developed system similar to the U.S. Tomahawk missile or the Russian Kaliber cruise missile, Turkish engineers have spent nearly a decade refining the system to suit Turkey's operational doctrine and regional needs. Missile features stealth characteristics with radar absorbent materials and a low altitude flight profile, a terrain tracking, guidance system for precision land attack missions. A modular warhead design allows configuration for anti-ship or land attack roles. Turkey's missile launch also has regional significance. The Eastern Mediterranean remains a tense battleground. With energy exploration rights, maritime borders, and regional rivalries, particularly with Greece and other NATO partners, shaping defense policy. The new missile's range allows the Turkish Navy to conduct operations deep into the Mediterranean, projecting power far beyond its coastal waters. Turkey's latest missile launch sends a clear signal to allies and rivals alike. Ankara is committed to securing its maritime territory and defending its growing interests in the Mediterranean, Aegean, and beyond. The country continues to build a robust domestic defense ecosystem with the goal of eliminating foreign dependence. Analysts argue that the Gezgin M could serve not only as a deterrent but also as a platform for Turkey's evolving power projection strategy, one that integrates air, land, sea, and drone assets into a unified network. Imagine a scenario where Turkish warships, drones like the Bayraktar Kızılelma, and long-range missiles coordinate attacks in real time, says defense journalist Efe Yomaz. That's the future Turkey is building, a fully networked, AI-assisted, and domestically empowered warfare ecosystem. The development of this missile demonstrates Turkey's growing defense collaboration ecosystem. Roketsan, Aselsan, Tubatak Seig, and Havelsan all play key roles, from guidance and electronics to propulsion systems and digital command integration. The project benefits from progress made in previous programs such as the Tayfun, Sam, and Atmaka. Turkish engineers emphasize the importance of innovation and local testing infrastructure. The country now operates a state-of-the-art wind tunnel, radar cross-section facility, and missile test range allowing it to conduct almost the entire development cycle domestically. While Turkey has not officially commented on export plans, defense observers believe the Gezgin M could attract significant interest from allied nations in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East seeking an affordable yet powerful missile system. Ankara's track record with successful exports ranging from the Bayraktar TB2 drone to the Atmaka missile suggests that this new naval missile could follow a similar trajectory. Similar, however, Western analysts warn that Turkey's expanding missile capabilities could draw attention from NATO partners concerned about regional escalation. Turkish officials, however, maintain that the program is purely defensive and in line with the country's national security needs. The test, conducted in the eastern Mediterranean, demonstrates Turkey's growing ability to integrate precision strike technology into its naval forces and strengthen its maritime ambitions. According to an official statement from the Turkish Ministry of National Defense, the test involved a newly designed surface-to-surface -surface guided missile developed under the supervision of Roketsan, Turkey's leading missile and rocket manufacturer. The missile, tentatively named Gezgin M, is believed to represent a new class of long-range, sea-launched precision weapons capable of striking both land and sea targets with high accuracy. Defense analysts describe the test as a turning point for the Turkish Navy. Until now, Turkey's naval strike capabilities have relied heavily on imported or domestically produced weapons with limited range. However, this new missile, which reportedly has a range of over 800 kilometers, places Turkey among a select group of countries capable of operating indigenous cruise missiles from surface vessels. Video, 
Footage released by the ministry shows the missile being launched from the TCG Istanbul F-515, Turkey's first domestically produced frigate under the Milgem program. The missile shot out of the vertical launch system, VLS, in a pillar of flame before disappearing over the horizon, marking the culmination of years of research and development by Turkish defense companies. The new Gezgin M variant tested this week is believed to be an upgraded and modernized version designed for use on the country's next generation warships, including the I-Class frigates and the upcoming TF-2000 air defense destroyers. The goal is full autonomy, said a Rokitsan engineer familiar with the project. Every component, from propulsion to guidance, is designed and manufactured in Turkey. In recent years, Turkey's naval modernization has progressed at an unprecedented pace. Alongside this new missile program, Anker has inaugurated the TCG Anadolu, its first amphibious assault ship, capable of operating drones and short takeoff. Aircraft deployed the domestically developed Gukdeniz Short Range, weapon system for ship defense. Developed the Atmaka anti-ship missile, which has entered service. Continued development of the TF-2000 destroyer, which is planned to be the Turkish Navy's flagship. The combination of the Atmaka, Gezgin, and Gukdeniz gives Turkey a multi-layered maritime strike capability that rivals many NATO navies, said Dr. Mehmet Kaya, a defense analyst at the Ankara Center for Strategic Studies. This missile test is part of a broader doctrine, self-reliance, deterrence, and projection, and projection.